Right, we now move to this. A Georgia appeals court has agreed to review the decision which allowed Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis to stay on Donald Trump's 2020 election interference case there. Now, Trump's team and other defendants wanted Willis removed from the case, you'll recall. They argued that her romantic relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade created a conflict of interest. And the judge overseeing the case ruled that Willis could continue if Wade stepped aside, which he promptly did. For more on this and Trump's other legal battles, we're going to bring in CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson, a professor at Loyola Law School. And as you see there, joining us from L.A. Jessica, it's so difficult for our viewers and even us to keep track of each of these trials and what's happening. Overall, though, give us a sense of what's happening in Georgia and what this approval of the appeal hearing really means. Well, it's actually consistent with the theme of the other cases that we'll talk about, which is delay. The fact that the Georgia Court of Appeals is going to reveal, excuse me, review this decision with respect to whether or not Fonnie Willis is conflicted out of the case means that this case is not going to trial before the election. So, yes, there are legal consequences to this, but this is all about looking at court calendars and overlaying them on electoral calendars. And I mean, we can view this as a win for the Trump team. Not necessarily, let's remember, a legal win. The fact that they agreed to hear the case does not mean that they think Judge McAfee made a decision that amounts to reversible error. It means that they're taking the case and that now everything slows down yet again. Well, and Jessica, as you're talking about how a delay is a win for the Trump team, I want to go over to Florida because that classified documents case has once again been delayed. Yeah. Talk to us about what's going on there. So in this case, what we have is federal judge Eileen Cannon indefinitely postponing the trial date. Now, all along, she has made decisions that are very favorable to the Trump team with respect to their desire to delay. But this is kind of the ultimate delay, which is to say, I'm just taking it off the calendar. One thing I want people to know about the significance of this is number one, of course, I don't think that there's any world in which this case can go to trial before the election, similar to what we just said about Georgia. But also, when it comes to federal court, that trial date is really the date on which everything else then flows. You set a trial date, even if it's aspirational, and then all of the other dates, the dates for motion practice, the dates for expert witnesses, everything else flows back from that date. So by taking this off calendar, it's a fairly significant move by Judge Cannon to say everything, we're not just slowing it down, really everything stops till she looks over these evidentiary issues. And meantime, Jessica, the only live case is Trump's criminal trial here in New York. Yesterday we heard from Stormy Daniels going into very uncomfortable detail about mm. the alleged sexual encounter with Trump. What's your read on that testimony, how it fits into the overall charge of falsifying documents, because it's not about that alleged sexual encounter after all. It's not about that. And that's why the Trump team moved for a mistrial, because right. they said that's not relevant. And in fact, it's prejudicial. And those are two key words when we think about evidence and trials and we think about mistrials, which is, is this just so harmful to the defendant that you can't continue with this jury? Now, Judge Mershon said, no, the case can continue. But when we think about Stormy Daniels' testimony, a lot of it is um, arguably not the point here. The point is that she received that hush money payment, and the point is for her to talk about when and where and how she received that payment, but not the details of the alleged sexual encounter here. And we'll see what yeah. happens next as court resumes tomorrow. Jessica Levinson, always great to see you. Thanks, Thanks. for joining us. Thank you.